Last week, we got started on rebuilding the dirt jumps. We built up the second jump, dug a trench, and turned the tabletop into a double. While the second jump still needs some work, we want to test it before we go too much further and end up having to redo a lot of our work if something doesn't feel right or needs to be changed later on. So, that was our goal. Although, when I arrived at the jumps right after setting this goal, I found out that some local cats had other plans. All right, so I just noticed something. I was looking at this. We left at like 10 o'clock last night and that was not like that. And that was definitely not like that. And I was about to say a lot of these back edges were pretty solid. I don't know what happened. And then I went to look at the top, came around back and noticed this little claw marks, more claw marks. And then this. So it looks like some sort of cat or something came out here. You can see the paw print there, and there, and there. And then a couple more over here. What the heck? Dude, there must have been a couple of them. Yeah, you see all the little paw prints right here. While this wasn't a huge deal, I wanted to fix this before the dirt began to harden this way, but we were out of water. So while I waited on my buddy to show up so we could make a water run in his truck and start working on the landing, I kept digging in the trench. We were getting extremely close to the depth that we need for the water to flow out of the hole for the ramp. Once we had some water, I started fixing up the corners. One of the main tips I have for anyone trying to build jumps to sharp corners is that you're going to want to push the shovel into the side you are wanting to smooth out. Don't pull it. Notice how I never push my shovel towards the edge. I always pull it away. This makes sure that you don't ruin your hard work by pushing all that dirt on the corner or edge you're working on right off, making you have to restart. While I was fixing up the corners, I wanted to get rid of a hump on the face of the landing. To do this, I used a trowel that you would normally use for concrete work, and it worked wonders. Because the surface of the trowel is so narrow, it easily cuts through the hard top layer of dirt, and is very easy to control how much you shave off. I'm definitely going to be using this in the future. After a little more work on the side of the landing, it was time to do what everyone was dreading, moving the dirt to mellow out the landing but we're starting to run low on dirt. So to do this, we dug into the center of the landing and rolled some logs over from the burn pile to drop in. Once these logs were in, we filled in the free space around the logs and other areas that needed a lot of dirt with some terrible clay soil from the trench. This way we don't waste the good red dirt on the center of the jump. To get red dirt to top off the landing, we began to tear down the third jump. Don't worry, I really think you guys are gonna like what's taking its place. After we had put almost the entire lip of the third jump on the landing, we moved to building up the lip of the second jump. We didn't wanna waste time trying to pack the landing since we had a little trick to do that the next day. After spending some time shaping and buttering the second lip, we called it a night. Tomorrow was test day. The next morning, instead of smacking the landing with a shovel for hours, Camp brought out his little 110 pit bike to add another 100 pounds or so to pack in the lip and landings. Once the pit bike had done its work, we broke out the shovels and finished off the job. With that done, there were still two things that needed to be fixed before we could test the jump. Right above the jump, there was a low hanging branch that would most likely clothesline anyone trying to jump it. With no ladders, we had to improvise. Using a Gatorade bottle and a rope and a machete, we got the job done.
The second thing being there's still a foot deep trench directly after the landing of the first jump. But that's nothing a few boards can't fix. Well, so we hoped. Yeah, you're going so slow. Did you crack it? Your front tire literally landed directly on it. Did you just sink in the tiner? Dude. No, you were you were going. I feel like. There it is. No case. A little bit of case. Yeah. So the test didn't go terribly, but what we figured out is with our current setup, how it was, we have to take one crank in between the first and this jump just to be able to clear it. And that's not going high at all. You have to pump the crap out of the jump. So obviously it's not gonna be any fun like that. So that kind of gave us the idea of what we had to do for the first jump to be able to make this one work and make it fun. So we're currently working on that right now. And then the last thing we need to do is we added a little bit more dirt to the landing um, just to kind of mellow it out a little bit. It was still a little bit steep the other day. And then we still need to build up this outside edge, which hopefully after we finish that, that jump should be done. But other than that, guys, hope y'all liked the video. I think y'all are really gonna like the next few that we have going on after we finish um, buttering up this one and getting that one finished up and then get the first one working. We're gonna move on to the berm and I really think y'all are gonna like what we have coming on the berm. I'm so excited to build it, I cannot wait. There's a little hint, it's a build, not necessarily just moving dirt. So we're gonna break out the wood.